Hello and welcome to the Math for Fun and let me show you one of the most common calculus questions comes in the exams. Now, if you want to score 1500 and above in the MSAT math exam, you need to solve this question. Now, the question is saying that if dy by dx equal to y secant squared x and y equal to 5 when x equal to 0, find y. As you can see here that the variables are spread around. So we need to do that by separation of variables. So let's bring y's together on one side and x's to the other side. How do you do that? Look at here, dy by dx equal to y secant squared. So bring y under dy and take dx to the other side. It becomes dy over y equals to secant squared, that's secant squared x times dx, that's dx. You know how to do that process, right? Since y is on the other side, on the top side, so to get it to the other side of the equation, make it in the lower part, in the denominator. And dx is in the denominator, make it on the other side in the numerator. You know, like we multiply the whole equation by dx, and we can divide by y on each side of the equation. This process is easy for you. So now, dy by y equal to secant squared x dx. Now, to find y, let's do integrate both sides. We integrate both sides, we put integral here and integral here. Now, the integral of dy by y is equal to len y. That's clear, right? Equals, what's the integral of secant squared x dx? It is tangent x plus constant. Why? Because derivative of tangent is equal to secant squared. So integral of secant squared is tangent x. Now, also they gave us y equal to 5 when x equal to 0. So we can say len 5 here, replace y by 5. So we say len 5 is equal to tangent of 0 plus constant. And you know that tangent 0 is equal to 0, which means that len 5 is equal to constant. So we got the constant here. We can replace it in the main equation here. And then we write the equation again. We can say that len of y is equal to tangent x plus constant, which is len 5. Now, when you have len y equal to something, how do you get y? We can say y is equal e to the power of tangent x plus len 5. And also, we know that when we have e to the power, let's say, x times e to the power y, you can write it e to the power x plus y. And we can do the opposite. If you have the other side, which is e to the power x plus y, we can split it. We can make it e to the power x times e to the power y. Which means that we can write equal e to the power tangent x times e to the power len of 5. And also, you know, when we have e to the power len of x, we can e and len cancel each other, you can write it as x. So now e to the power len 5, you can replace it by 5, then which is equal e to the power tangent x times e to the power len 5 is 5, and finally it gives you 5 e to the power tangent x. And that is the final answer. And if you are planning to score 1500 and above in your MSAT exam, follow me in the next videos, and don't forget to like and share and welcome to Math for Fun, and bye for now.